Hello. You got the live notification a little earlier, didn't you? And then suddenly it stopped. And you were like, was he going on? Was he not going on? Well, when you... Um, we, we do two types of videos. I do two types of videos. I do live videos for Bible studies with you. And I record a daily, a Monday through Friday video short. Hi, Linda Kimmel. And so um, it's, it's two buttons. I have to press one button. One button keeps me, hi, Grace. One button keeps me from, keeps me, goes, goes live to you. And one button records a file that the, that Sandra and the um, editors in higher things can, can, um, uh, can edit. And that's what, that, that's, that's why, the, that's why she gets paid the big bucks. Although I hear that she's going to have a new editor, um, my, uh, my son, which will free Sandra to actually, um, do other marvelous things other than having to put up with videos of me. But if you got a video alert earlier, you were like, oh, 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 oh. no, no, that was, that was just a mistake. And I hope your day is going great. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Donna. Hi, Carol. Hi, Ann. Let's see what we got here. Got a shared a couple ones. Also, hi Steve, hi Betty. Um, uh, today, uh, we remember um, a, a mentor of mine, one of the first presidents. Uh, I'm sorry, the first president of Higher Things, uh, uh, Gene's former pastor, um, uh, Clement Preuss, who, uh, whose birthday it is today. I remember when we found out that uh, the Lord had called Clement home and he had um, the, the, his fight against cancer had come to an end. Uh, the, children, um, the children at the, the, the conference sang um, God's Own Child, I Gladly Say It. It's one of the one of the uh, sort of, uh, that's one of those things that'll stick with you the rest of your life. Those kids singing and remembering um, one of the heroes in the faith of our generation, uh, Pastor Clement Preuss, um, a very wise and sort of a, a learned man, uh, not sort of, he was, and um, a gift to everyone who had an opportunity to hear his preaching. Hey, Terry Lynn. Good to see you. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Steve. Colossians 2 on a Saturday. So. All right. So I hope you are having a great day. I hope you're lifting other people up. Hi, Colonel. Good to see you. So let's get to, um, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, I woke him up for a video short for you, Maggie. He uh, was asleep for, for Mondays and Tuesdays. I tried to get him up and he was awake for a little bit of it, but he's having nothing going on. Hi, Sue. How you doing? I hope you're staying safe in, uh, in Seattle. All right, let's get, let's get rolling, shall we? Chapter two. Remember, chapter one ended with um, with all of the work. Hi, Erica. With all of the work being pushed back to Jesus, we had that um, him we proclaim. This is this is Paul and Timothy, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, that we may be presented present everyone finished in Christ forgiven in Christ, at peace with Christ. For I toil, struggling with all um, energy that he powers within me. And, and what that does is um, just remind us that, uh, you know, he doesn't say that he's not doing it. A lot of Lutherans today... Um, are very, 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 very sort of adamant that, that, that we do good works. Paul doesn't, Paul doesn't ever say that 
he's not doing good works, but he doesn't he doesn't emphasize his doing good works. He points it back to God. So he's doing all this sort of I'm teaching and I'm teaching and I'm teaching and I'm pushing and I'm pushing and I'm pushing. But it's the Lord who's doing it. It's the Lord who's doing it. And um, would that we all thought that way. Would that we all thought that way. All right, 2 1. Let's roll. Uh, for I want y'all uh, to know um, that is uh, how great the. Uh, uh, Agnona, the, 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 the struggle, the struggle is real, um, that I have on behalf of y'all and for those, um, in Laodicea, remember it's nearby and for all, um, uh, those who have not seen perfect who did not see me, prosopon, um, uh, when they, when they translate it, um, when they translate it face to face, it's really see my flat face in the flesh, um, in Sarki. And I, and I, and I, and I think it's important to, um, translate it that way because, of all the other fleshes that we had earlier, um, that Jesus saved us in the flesh of his body on the tree or in the body of flesh on the tree. Those words are used twice, which drag us away from the Gnosticism of knowledge and spirituality and moving the platonic way of outer to inner, um, up the, the ladder race to race signata, the thing to the thing which signifies all the way up the chain. Okay. Um, and so I think it's important to translate it, you know, who have not seen me in, in seen my face in the flesh. And what's, what's, what's important. What's important here is, is also so that their hearts may be encouraged. How often do Christians, especially pastors, get all wrapped up in the lives, of the whether their peoples are people are changing? Um, I'm gonna pick on Sue because I love her and I know she she can handle it. <coughs> I do not have the Rona; it's just a tickle in my throat. Um, let's say let's say I was Sue's pastor. Hello. My name is Kurt Onken. No, um, and after 20 years of dealing with Sue, I could get frustrated that the same things are still happening. Um, uh, the same sins. This happens uh, with pastors and parishes. And many church fathers fall away because people's lives aren't getting any better. It's like we teach our whole life and people still don't love God with their whole heart. Misuse his name. Skip church and don't remember the Sabbath day. They're not attentive to his words. They don't, um, they don't honor the authorities. They don't, um, uh, they hate they murder, they don't help people, they lead impure lives in what they say and do, they steal and cut corners, they gossip. We even turn prayer chains into gossip. In my old age, I don't believe anything that I'm told until I hear it from the person. And then coveting, they still covet. They covet everything in, uh, under the sun, home, and everything else. But that's not what concerns the apostle. People getting better is not what incur what 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 the apostle is all about. Um, since my uh, since we went um, 
4K. Have you noticed that the font's a bit smaller? That's probably a little better. And uh, this would help me a little bit too if I if I raise the font size on this side too. You'll have to, it's not getting any better. Anyway, there we go. That's probably better. That's probably a lot better. So that paracletheisin, uh, paraclete, paracaleo, to encourage, to comfort. So that their cardii, their hearts, would be comforted. That's what we should be all about as preachers. That's what we should be all about as teachers. That's what we should all be about as Christians. How do we encourage, lift up, comfort those around us? Notice that's not, how do we make people better? You want to see me have an epileptic seizure sometime? Um... All you need to do is come out of church and go, you know what? What a great sermon, Pastor. They really needed to hear. Well, they, we don't do that anymore. We don't shake hands with it. Great service, Pastor. Great sermon. They really needed to hear that. Hi, Will. Welcome to the party. Newman, really? Kurt Onkin can grow a beard. That's all you got, huh? Really? That's all you got. I love you, man. Anyway, um, the main concern of every Christian should be the comfort of those around them, not the changing of their behavior. I have literally chased people down. You can hear me with my loud voice saying, I wasn't preaching to them. I was preaching to you. I was preaching to you. I want you to hear these words. Losing my stuffing and becoming a few fries sort of a Happy Meal. All, all, all. Because we think that the, the, the main purpose of Christianity is to make people better. Other people better. Not me. Other people better. Okay. <laughs> I've just given um, Lestico all the ammunition he needs to send all his kids out of a Higher Things conference after the opening service. Lord willing, um, if I get to preach another service at Higher Things, um, shaking my hand and saying, uh, that was a good sermon, Pastor. Those other kids need to hear that. Hey, buddy. You in there? You in there? Can you come out? Play? Come here, boy. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. We should be about the comfort of, of troubled consciences. We should be about the forgiveness of sins. We should be about bringing people together. Not... Uh, don't make it all about getting better. So you're saying that you don't want people to get better? I never said that. But that's the main, not the main thing about Christianity. Christianity is not about making Sue Pellegrini a better person. I love you, Sue. I think you're great, but you're still a sinner um, who needs comfort. That's what Christianity is all about, about, about um, the forgiveness of sins. About the forgiveness of sins. That's what Christianity is all about. Yeah, I'm looking at a four-page single-space letter. that their hearts may be comforted. That's the first thing he says. Remember, first and last things are huge in Greek. Not that the other stuff, so you're saying the other stuff isn't important. Not that, that, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying what is first and what is last in ancient languages is usually super important. So the thing that he wants, the thing that he says, look, if, if you, I want you you, I want you to know the great struggle that I have for you and for those uh, uh, in Laodicea and for all who have not seen my face in the flesh so that their hearts may be encouraged. That they would be, this is a passive 
participle, um, that they might be knitted together, having been knitted together in love. That their hearts would be comforted having been knitted together in love. Now, how do we get knitted together in love? Held together, united. Is it blessed be the time that binds? Um, and in all wealth or riches of the play raw Sophia's, that is like full wisdom. The full wisdom, there's so. So, oh, I'm sorry, Sorias. I'm um, sorry. Full comfort, full assurance. Um, another one of those times where my my eyes read the uh, the word wrong. I may have to check my 2020 vision, 2010 vision. Um, it's probably all the old reading. And he, uh, you're going to see me tomorrow. I'll be wearing uh, uh, reading glasses, uh, and I made the font bigger too. It's crazy. Getting old, not fun. Um, in all the the wealth of of the full assurance of 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 insight and 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 and, and knowledge so so he wants you he wants you to have comfort knowing that you've been bodied and blooded together in all the um um in all the, the 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 full riches of 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 comfort of the inside, he wants you to know more that your sins are forgiven, that you're at peace with God, not because of a change in you, but because God has taken on your flesh and died. That God is for all the mystery. Remember the mystery that was hidden from all ages, which was revealed in these present times. Christ in you. Gentiles, sinners. He wants your heart encouraged. He wants you knitted together. He wants you to reach a, to, 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 to sort of in that full understanding of all of the greatness that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, as my pastor used to say, or, uh, Terry Lynn's pastor too, that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in order to save you. That God says, let there be light in order to save you. That God creates the heavens and the earth in order to save you. That that tree is in the midst of the garden in order to save you. That the whole of creation, that everything that has ever happened in, in, in history has been so that God would send his son to save you. It's all about him for you, not you for him. He wants you to, to have that comfort in all love, and that the, the, the sort of joining together, that you want your hearts comforted in all of the sort of joining together, the, 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 the riches of the, of the insight of all the joining together in the knowledge of the mystery of God. And you know what the mystery of God is? Christ! <laughs> Gotta get the chair fixed. Mysterion. Mysterion later becomes, uh, later, later becomes, um, uh, for us, uh, the root of the term sacrament. But here it's 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 mystery. Here it's mystery. It's right there, mystery. So, so I want you to know. It's all part of the plan, Grace. I like to say that in a um, in a Joker voice, Heath Leather Joker voice. All part of the plan. All of this whole thing is pulling toward him. Remember I said the first and the last is what's most important. That your hearts may be comforted. Being knit together in love. To, 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 uh, um, 
and 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 in all so you're knit together in love and in all of the um the 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 riches of the full assurance of of the insight toward the knowledge of the mystery of God Christ he's the mystery of God see the mystery hidden from all ages is is that God is going to send his son and that his son is not going to just save his people from their sins he's going to save all people from their sins whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved the miracle of pentecost is that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not just some who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Not just good people who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. No, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone. Oh. Yeah. 2-1 and 2-2 two, two would, would have been good to include in a pastoral letter to the congregation when the church was closed. Yes, it would have been. Yes, it would have been. Yes, yes, it would have been. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry we're so behind because that would have been good stuff. The comfort is in Christ. Peace I give you, my peace I leave you, not as the world gives you peace, don't let your heart be troubled, neither let you be neither be afraid. So this is all about comfort. He wants them to know comfort. He wants them to know peace. He wants you to know comfort. He wants you to know peace. But that comfort and peace isn't in looking in the mirror and saying that everything's going to be okay. It's about Christ, the mystery, for all. And if for all, then for you and me. If for all, I love for all. For all means I get saved too. For all means Jacoby gets saved. For all means sinners are saved. This Sunday coming up, God does the the um, God does a plan which He says will fail. The parable of the rich man and Lazarus, and I'm not going to spoil the video short for Monday, but God does a plan that He says will fail. Remember the rich man goes down, poor guy goes up, rich man, nameless, poor guy, um, not nameless, named after Jesus' BFF, which makes you think the whole parable, is this real? Did this really happen? And when the rich man realizes that he's done, and that hell's hot. The heat. He calls out to, the, to, to, to Lazarus and Father Abraham and says, send Lazarus back so that my brothers will know. They have Moses and the prophets, he says. Abraham says. They got the word. They got enough. No, if you send somebody back from the dead, they'll believe. They don't believe Moses. They won't believe someone who comes back from the dead. But that's the very thing that Jesus does. <laughs> Way to go, Will. I've saved more than you. I don't think we're Facebook friends, Will, but we are now. I got this. Um... Oh, I can't find it. Oh, drat. It's this coaster on my desk. It says, Jesus loves you, uh, but I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite. Um, in whom all the uh, um, all the treasures of wisdom, Sophia's, and knowledge are hidden. All right. So there has been, we've at least deduced, there must have been a little Gnostic problem in, um, in Colossa. There must have been a little bit of folks thinking that they could move up the chain and get better and better and better and better 
the more knowledge they got, the more secrets they learned. And Paul, um, um, and and then the key to that was 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 more secrets, more knowledge. The key to that was more knowledge or secrets. And um, uh, the problem with that, though, the issue with that is, is Paul redirects them. Paul redirects them away from what's going on between inside your coconut to what's going on with Christ. He is Let's read it again. In whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. You want to find hidden knowledge? Be in Christ. But it's not how you can become a better person. The knowledge hidden in Christ is that all are saved. And if all are saved, then even Newman is a new man. And I'm with Jacoby on this. Just when I think Lestico, you can't get any worse, you go and totally redeem yourself. Dumb and dumber. So he directs them and he moves them away from... Let me tell you a secret, Maggie. And this secret's going to move you up the lodge. And you're going to get better and better with this super secret knowledge. The allure with wealth ministry is finding the secrets instead of knowing the mystery. Thank you, Terry Lynn. Thank you. Um... Right, Gene. Um, uh, there's a um, um, mystery is a very sort of mysteries are hidden. Secrets, I don't think, are the way of the Christian faith. Mysteries are the way of the Christian faith. Secrets are for cults as well. Um, Mysteries, mysterion, mystery hidden from all ages. The mystery of Christ in you. I have a good, a good crowd here. Tricks are for kids, secrets are for cults. Thank you, Will. Um, uh, we would get along just fine. Um, for though I'm absent in the flesh, there it is again, yet in the with you in spirit i am with y'all in spirit same thing the lord says in matthew 28 which we had rejoicing and seeing y'all in good order and steadfastness in Christ, in in um in in the in the steadfastness of your faith in christ Faith in Christ. You can't separate faith from Jesus. Can't pull them apart. So the firmness and good order is in Christ. What about their lives? Doesn't he want them to have better lives? Doesn't he want them to be better people? Well, before he does six, he does five, four, three, two, one. Before he starts talking about... um. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I'll, I'll get to it. Um, my squeaky chair, if I sit on the side of it. Um, this was a chair given to me in McHenry. I used to have a wildly loud purple and gold LSU sh you, you chair that I got when I first got to McHenry. Um, it was given to me. And then um, uh, after the Mets beat the... Uh, Cubs in the World Series, they um, uh, they uh, um, 
they got me a Mets one, which is the one that I'm sitting in and squeaking in today. Um, um, the gospel is a mystery. Um, it's hidden. It's despised. It's revealed when it shows up. And it's, 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 <laughs> hi, Grace. It's uh, not required to stick around. That's why you really need to think before you move, before you move someplace, because the next place may not have the gospel. And you need to cherish the, the church that you're in so that you don't, um, so that you don't um, despise that preacher and he goes somewhere else and take the go his gospel with him. Um, so though I'm absent in the body, yes, I'm with you in spirit, rejoicing to see you in good order and the see the good order and firmness of your faith in Christ. Faith in Christ. That's what saves. Um, David, that's not been my experience with 1517. Um, uh, I think you, I, I, I think that, 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 uh, uh, I think that 1517 is really good at the ministry that they do to evangelicals. And that may be the lens that we need to sort of look at them through and not a sort of a, a different way. But that, my friend, David, is a, is a song for another time. Uh, but I can see you're a Red Sox fan. And so 1986, that was uh, actually, why am I a Mets fan? Because of the 1986 World Series. I was a a kid coming back from um, from uh, uh, an LSU football game. LSU um, had beaten North Carolina, and my dad turned on the game six of the 1986 World Series. Um, and I was a young pup in 86, and I fell in love with baseball. Uh, little roller behind the bag. It gets through Buckner, and the Mets win it. <laughs> Sorry about that, but... You know, you got a bunch of championships with Pedro and the like um, uh, recently, so, and, and Mookie and all that jazz. Um, all of this is, um, uh, Billy is a good guy. Yeah, Billy Buckner was a good guy, David. Um, all of this, though, is about comfort. Um, about comfort. About peace about forgiveness and about finding the mystery not inside of ourselves. And there's the key, I think, to the difference between the secret and the mystery. The secret is something that I've got inside of me um, that I'll tell you, then it can be inside of you. The mystery is in Christ. I don't talk about Oral Hershiser. I cannot stand Oral Hershiser. But I can still hear Vince Scully. Oral Hershiser. Continuing on, because I'm going to get in trouble for talking about baseball and getting off track. Yeah, David. Yeah, outside of you. Objective. True, whether you believe it or not. You don't make the gospel true. The gospel's true, whether you believe it or not. You don't make the gospel sweet. The gospel is sweet, whether or not you believe it or not. Therefore, as you have paralabate, um, as you have received, that's faith. That's faith. That's faith. Receiving Jesus. Paralabate. As you have received Jesus. Paralambano. As you have received Jesus. Faith first. Then walking. But faith first. Receiving Jesus, Christ Jesus. That's faith. And this one, do not miss this. As you've received Jesus, the Christ, the Lord. I got mad. I'm, I, get, I get loud. I get, I get loud when I get excited. This is important. He is the Christ, the anointed one, the one who dies on the cross to save you. He is the Lord, which does not mean he is Rob's master. 
It does not mean that he is the biggest God of them all. The Lord means that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hi, Karina. The Lord be with you. It is really good to see you. Um, when, you when, 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 when Jesus is called the Lord, he is, he is he is signaling he is um uh uh he is proclaiming he is he is he is telling you that he is the god of abraham isaac and jacob he is the old testament god That's what he's telling you. I am the God of the Old Testament. That's what he's saying. So as you have received him, as you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Lord, so also walk in him. What does walk in him mean? Well, Let's see, before I tell you, rooted, built up in him, established in the faith. When we hear walk in the Lord, we inevitably do the thing that we do and make it all law. Have you noticed? Because there's a part of us that wants to turn all of this into law. There is. There's a part of us that wants to turn um, all of this into law. All right? That we, 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 we want to turn this into what can we do for God? And that's to think, that's to think that the whole thing, that the whole thing is um, as if God is up there and he's singing, what have you done for me lately? dum 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 Ooh, yeah. Um, that he's up there and he's a law God. And that's the way he wants to deal with us. So we can get to the law and do the law because that's what we really wanted to do. It is the opinion legacy that we can do the things that he says for us to do. But we can't. So... Walk in him doesn't mean I uh, once was an al alcoholic and not I'm not. Not only. Don't turn this into all this law. Don't. Don't turn it into all this law. Hi, Jason. Good to see you. Um, because it, because what he wants from you to be to walk in him is to walk confessing your sins and perceiving, receiving forgiveness. He wants you rooted, built up, established in the faith. To be walking in him is to be in the word. Not going straight to, you better live for him. We do this so wrong. And we turn a gospel thing into a law. And what we love to do is we, and we, and we skirt into the second table, totally skipping the first table of the law. This, <laughs> right, Rob. It is this, but not this, this, but not this. Oh, and this, but not this. Repeat for several chapters. Right. Rinse and repeat, as we say, playing games. Um, so everything about this is more Jesus, less you. So to walk in him is to walk in the forgiveness, comfort of your sins. Okay. Comfort from your sins. Oh, you see, he slipped up there. He really wants us to sin. No, no, 
I don't want you to sin. But I do want you to know that when you sin, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus, the righteous one. 1 John 2. I want you to know that your sins are forgiven. And so does St. Paul. And so when he says, walk as you've received Jesus, walk in this faith, it means walk in the comfort that you receive in Jesus. Stop trying to save yourself. And what are they trying to save themselves with? Knowledge. Secrets. Rooted. Firmly rooted. Built up in him. And confirmed. Established. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a present passive. Currently right now. Established by the faith. Just as it was taught to you. By the way, you got to beware of people who want to pull the scriptures away from church. Do you understand me? A lot of times, people want to pull the scriptures away from church. They want to pull them apart and then, and then, and then, and then, then bring them against each other, make them antagonistic. Like you have two options, um, church and the scriptures. And so I decide I'm going to be at home with my Bible. Look, if you're at home with your Bible, that's great. But that's not supposed to be over and against church. This leads to you home with your Bible and home with your Bible leads you back in church. Not these two are somehow in conflict. I don't need organized religion. Look, Where there's genuine faith, there will be good works. And so um, you were taught. You didn't come up with this on your own. You were taught. Paul taught you. Pastor E taught you earlier in this book. Timothy taught you. Well, I don't need pastors. Well, that, that's good for you. Well, it seems like the scriptures, they're okay. Well, that was a little bit self-serving. But you know what I mean. Not you and your Bible alone. That's not the Christian faith. And just because it'll work on a desert island doesn't mean that that's what he wants you to do all the time. Just like it carried you through COVID-19 does not mean that that's the way he wants to carry you through the whole time. We all are finding our way, except for Sue, who's still locked down, um, through, through this COVID stuff. And they're telling us we're going to have a new normal, but we don't want a new normal. We want to be in church. So that, um, what's going on with you isn't separated apart from what you were taught. And all of this causes you to abound, to have abundance in Eucharistia, Thanksgiving, which I think still isn't just, I'm thankful for the pilgrims. I'm thankful for my turkey. I'm thankful for the chicken on my plate. It's not just that. Not that that's bad. I love that. But it also ends in the Eucharist. Catechesis and the Lord's Supper. Can you imagine that that would be walking in him? Rooted, built up, established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in the Lord's Supper. Now, 243. We're going to end a little early because I want to um, pass you on to Pastor Finker. And, and I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you important things here. Okay? It's very, very important. This is very important. 
2 p.m. on Monday. Um, we're going to give Pastor Finker a chance to give me a day off. I want you to continue in Colossians, but it doesn't have to be me. Pastors are interchangeable. Um, uh, uh, that's what this says. Anybody could be in this that the Lord called in order to do good in your midst. I want you to also go to store.higherthings.com. I hope Jacoby pastes the link and get that discounted merchandise. Live stream, live Bible study is the code. All caps, all one word, live Bible study. That's the code. You get all sorts of discounts. Use it. Use it. But do give Pink Finker a chance on Monday. I'm super excited for him and for you to have an opportunity to be together. And I will be back on Tuesday. Finker on Monday. But I will be back on Tuesday. And so Monday and Tuesday, 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Same bat time. Same bat channel to continue the book of Colossians. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Um, love others. Stay firmly rooted in the faith. Um, comforting one another as God in Christ has comforted you. Have a great day. The peace of the Lord be with you all.